Man, oh man, Ashevitz, we have a show for you today. We're going to pick through all the complicated stuff in the Constitution and make it simple so even these law professors and uh, former federal prosecutors all over cable TV can understand it. Not that they will, because, you know, they're, they're not really into the Constitution. And it does crack me up to watch the liberals and the Democrats go on TV talking about the Constitution and the Constitution, when in fact they hate the Constitution, because progressives hate the Constitution. We only get to this issue of pardon because Mr. Mueller is about to create a constitutional confrontation if he continues to proceed the way he is, really with no constitutional basis, no regulatory basis or, or policy basis out of the Department of Justice, and no crime. He wants to create a crime of obstruction where there is no crime. And so if we reach this point, it's not because Trump is acting like a dictator. People are very confused about this, mostly because the reporting is very confused about this. The president cannot be investigated if there is no possible obstruction of justice under our Constitution. Firing Comey, as an example, that cannot be a crime. The prosecutor has no authority whatsoever to interfere with the president's duties in that respect. Those powers belong to the president, and it's not a crime. If, in fact, you're talking about a crime where a crime actually occurred, one that you can identify, one you can see with your own eyes, hear with your own ears, and the president of the United States had some role in it, or it's believed to have a direct role in it, well, of course you can invest him for obstruction, and you can keep that information. And then once he leaves office, if the statute of limitations hasn't run, you can charge him. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.